So, Friday's the day we take a look at the map. If you remember from last week, we started last Friday we were in San Diego. Shadows and glare. And from San Diego, we went to Yuma. It's on the border between California and Arizona. And then, a couple of days ago, we came into Phoenix. Stayed in Phoenix. And then this morning, I left Phoenix and drove up to... Um, Salt River's in here, and then after that I drove up to Sholo, it's pronounced Sholo, I questioned it, and <laughs> I was dumb. Um, yeah, so tomorrow I will be heading to Flagstaff to sleep in a haunted hotel, and then Sunday I'll be in Sedona, which is right outside of Flagstaff, but uh, we'll deal with that next Friday. So that's what we've done so far in two weeks. Crazy. Alright, show me it's So I am driving today from Sholo, Arizona to uh, Flagstaff, Arizona. It's not a long drive, it's a couple hours. Um, I passed through Taylor, took a picture of a couple of a cool building, and I am now driving through Snowflake, Arizona. Snowflake, Arizona. Tempted to stop and have some political discussions here. Just to see what happens. Do any more. Whole lot of nothing. I think this is the most nothing I've seen on a road yet. Documenting something. Every once in a while, I see a, a mesa like this, or is that a butte? Somebody school me as to the difference between a mesa and a butte. My geology is escaping me. Is that geology or is it geography? Topography. Ooh, this this land has some features. It's a butte. It's pretty good looking too. <laughs> Dad jokes, that's all I got. So I stopped in uh, Holbrook, Arizona. Um, the Painted Desert and the Petrified Forest are just east of me. Um, I'm going west today to go to Flagstaff. They're only like half an hour east and I thought about doing it. It's like noon and I'm looking for lunch soon and I'm gonna come back this way after Vegas on the way to Tucson. So I think I'm gonna hit the Painted Desert and the Petrified Forest on the way to Tucson after Vegas. So, making that note here now so I remember to do it. So I stopped in Holbrook, Arizona to uh, you know, stretch my legs, that kind of thing. And when I do that, I tend to open Pokemon Go uh, to look around, see what's, what's going on, what Pokestops there are, what's identified. And so I stopped here because it's a raid. Did the raid, and the stop is labeled as Petrified Forest Mural. And that's that one. But in addition to that, there's a Route 66 mural. I think it's really cool. I mean, the Petrified Forest one is cool too, but that's really cool. So I wonder if I could stop at each point on Route 66 identified there without actually driving Route 66. I mean, I've already done Barstow and Needles before, and I'm here in Arizona, so I wonder if I can do those. But then again, that's not, yeah, because I'm not going straight to Illinois, but it'd be neat to come back there. So, I'll do a panoramic. And I wanted to say, I wouldn't have known about either mural if it wasn't for Pokemon. So, it's kind of neat. I enjoy opening Pokemon and finding out what kind of little things there are around me that I might not have noticed otherwise. 
Cool, cool, cool. Heading on the road. There's one snowy mountain off there in the distance. I don't mean the smokestacks. Cannot safely get a shot, a good shot of it. It's there. There it is. So I'm staying at this haunted hotel in Flagstaff. Give you a brief tour of it. It's a cool little cozy room. I almost wish there wasn't a TV because it's like one of the few things that breaks up the aesthetic. Sink is in the bedroom. There's a closet, so it has an actual door on it. And the bathroom, has, there's me. There's that. I've already had an unusual encounter. I tried to log on to the Wi Fi. And I'm staying on the second floor. The second floor server and password didn't work. But the third floor server and password did. Just taking a walk through Flagstaff. Asked the desk clerk if there's anything nearby within walking distance that I should see. And she said, well, if you want to eat or drink, you should stay in the restaurant. Go outside, there's a mountain you can look at. Uh, but that's about it. So, just walking around. Mountain's over there. That creek continues on the other side of the road. juxtaposition of nature and our need to control it. Haunted second floor. Sounds of party downstairs. But there's nobody downstairs. It's all ghosts. Like the Overlook Hotel. There's nobody staying here. Here I go. Okay, this this is Casey. Hi. I don't know your name. I'm Daniel. That's Daniel. And they work here at the Haunted Hotel. Um, so first of all, my first encounter with the haunted hotel was the Wi-Fi. Is the Wi-Fi? Is the Wi-Fi haunted? Yes. The Wi-Fi is definitely haunted. I've never not had anyone have any issues with the Wi-Fi. It's always super finicky, especially on the second floor. That's where it's the worst. So there's a ghost in the machine. I would say so. I don't know specifically in the machine, but definitely there's something there that's contributing to some sort of activity. Okay, I have a theory. Have you seen Stephen King's The Shining? Yes. Yeah, so you've heard this before, it sounds like. Um, the Overlook Hotel, uh -huh. uh, all of the, that final picture, all of the guests are there, yeah. but none of them are ever there. Uh -huh. Is this noise actually happening? Yes. You don't think these people are ghosts? I don't think so. No, because they have corporeal form. How do you know? Have you touched each and every one of them? Yeah, but I one mean, of them broke true. glass. So at least one of them is real. One of them. It could be a ghost glass. It's true. It could be a ghost glass. Well, hopefully know. it just disappears. I don't have to clean it up. Okay, Daniel has a story. Oh, just someone broke a glass, and I was like, ah, I gotta go clean that up now. That was, the, you said you had a ghost story. Oh, it's a ghost story. 
So okay. wait, I thought the glass is a ghost story. No, 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 no. So there's a ghost story. No, no, no. So this is a little bit better. Okay. There, there is a faucet up in the back. My hand is shaking. That uh, it has a butterfly valve, <laughs> which means it physically needs to rotate in order for it to release the pressure and for the water to come out. And we have it actually on video where it just turns on and then it just turns off by itself, which is physically impossible. <laughs> Can, can you send that video to me? Uh, I think Hobby has it, so possibly. Yeah, we could probably get that to you. So if I, because I'm making a documentary. I'm doing it, I'll explain the trip to you once this clip is over, but there's going to be, a, we're going to make a movie out of my trip. Okay. And so I will need that footage, and we may come back and talk to you again at some point. That's okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let me go see if I can find Hobby. Well, I mean, it doesn't have to be right now. I'll leave my information with you. Anything else you'd like to share? Uh, that's all. I haven't been working here that long. Because I have not slept here yet. Oh, this is Oh my god, he's gone. Oh, he went to the <laughs> So, I have, is there any advice about how to survive the night in the hotel? Keep your eyes open. How do you do that while you're sleeping? <laughs> That's the point. You don't sleep. <laughs>